Financial freedom, here we come. Okay, my daughter is jumping off the bed. I have to go stop her. Mom life. You are never going to believe how much we put to debt this month. Not in a million years. Hi, I'm Wendy Valencia. This is my husband Mauricio and my daughter Melina. She's six. We are on a very long journey to have our financial freedom and live a debt-free life. It's been two years and we're not even halfway. Wait, what? Let me give you a, a 30 second run through on our journey so far. And if you are interested in following us in the rest of our journey, consider clicking that big red subscribe button down below. We started this journey in April of 2016 while Mauricio was without a job and we were supporting his sister and her husband to the tune of about $3,000 a month. We have been living at my parents' house since August of 2015, which was not in our plans, but you know, hey, priorities change. From the beginning of our journey until about July 2017, Mauricio worked side hustle jobs. Uber, Amazon Flex, seasonal driver for UPS. And in July of 2017, he finally got a career job. And in August of 2017, he started getting real paychecks. So when I say that we have paid off $134,700.39 in right around pretty dang close to two years, Keep in mind, we were really making almost no headway until August of 2017. So that really means that we have paid off almost half of our debt payoff in the last seven months, which is pretty amazing in my book. So let's go through our real debt snowball numbers, and I am going to tell you exactly where our money went to debt this month. And I'm saving the big debt snowball payment for the end because it's pretty freaking awesome and I am super excited about it. So this was the status of our debt snowball at the end of February. You can see that we owed $195,973. We were finally under $200,000 again for the third time. It's a long story. Ignore the debt-free date because everything's going to change when we move out in the fall. So while it says September 2020, it's not going to be September 2020. So the first payment that we are going to talk about is our visa bill, and we paid $260 to that debt. The current balance on that debt is $10,198. We have 72.8% of that debt left to go. Well, I'm super excited to pay our big loan off. The credit card is coming in as a close second for what I want to pay off. The second loan is our CarMax car loan. We paid $465 to that. The current balance on our car loan is $15,650. And we have 60.2% left on that loan to go almost halfway. The third debt in the snowball is our USAA loan, and we paid $1,186.60 to that loan last month, and we owe $52,346 left on that loan, and we still owe 69.8% of that loan. Our next debt in this snowball is our personal loan, and we paid $200 to that loan, and we currently owe $24,847, and we have 88.7% of that left to go. And the next loan that we have in our snowball is Mauricio's school loan. That balance is $50,366, and we just started paying that last month, so we still have 99% of that loan to go. Now for the big one. This loan is the loan that has been our historically largest. And this month to the Navy Federal loan, we put $12,494.59. Holy free holies, Batman. That's a lot of money. That makes our balance $27,759. We are under 20% on that loan. These screenshots of our debt payoff are from Undebt It. 
I find it super motivating to look at our debt-free date. So according to this, we will have the Navy Federal loan paid off in September of 2018. And October of 2018 will be our first month without that payment. So that is seven months away. However, our last payment is really, really small. And if we scrimp, we can actually pay it off in August. So we are working towards that goal of being it completely paid off in August. So this is our current snowball balance. $181,167 left. That means we put $14,806.19 to debt this month. Whoa. So give us a huge thumbs up for an awesome debt payment this month. We are super, super excited. But Wendy, how did you put that much money to debt this month and still pay all of your bills? Did you win the lottery? I am so glad you asked that. Back in December, remember, I was talking about a huge tax debacle from 2015 where I was having my CPA redo my taxes from 2015 because I did them myself and I'm not a CPA. I should not be doing my own taxes. Well, he redid them and we ended up having overpaid by $10,000. So we got a $10,000 check. And Mauricio and I debated about whether we would pay off the credit card entirely with the check or we would pay off our biggest loan. And after much debating, we decided to pay our biggest loan. Last week, we went to the bank and we deposited that check. And what was so funny is we told them to deposit it in our checking account and come to find out you can just transfer it directly to a loan. So we told the lady to go ahead and transfer it directly to the loan. That way there was no way we could spend a cent of it. That's adulting done right. So you may have noticed for the last two weeks and again this week, I have only put up two videos each week. I was having some massive computer issues. You saw in my budget that we had actually put in to buy a new external hard drive because mine was getting pretty close to filled and I knew it would be coming probably in March or April. Well, what I didn't realize is that when you get really close to having a full drive and you are attempting to use a editing software on that drive, it kind of freezes and stalls. And so I was having a horrible time editing videos. My computer kept crashing. It was awful. And so what we ended up doing is going ahead and buying the external hard drive. Great. Everything should be fixed. We transferred some stuff. We got it all working. I got one video halfway edited and I was good to go. I was getting caught up. I was a little behind by about three days in my editing process, but I was getting caught up. And then the external hard drive died. The new one. So it took me another three days to order a new one. We bought a new one. The new one works great. I finally got caught up. I was almost a full week behind in my filming because I film one week, I edit the following week. So technically I'm usually about two weeks ahead of schedule. What you're watching happened two weeks prior, except with my beginning and end of the month budget videos. I try and do those as close to the date as possible. I got over a week behind in my schedule. So you didn't really see it, but I had to get three videos out and there was no way I was going to. So I opted for two and then I carried one over to the next week. Okay, no big deal. I had gotten those two videos out and edited and I hadn't gotten them uploaded. They were edited and done. And then we had this horrific storm come through Northern Virginia. And so the power went out on Friday morning at 5.30 a.m. while I was editing my, my second video, I had almost completely finished. I was like less than a minute away and all the lights went off and I was like, well, crap. My dad actually got some calls from the church that there were alarms going off and we were concerned for the church. So my dad and I around 5.30 jumped up, ran over to his church 
and checked on it. Everything was fine, but there were trees down everywhere, everywhere. Roads were blocked. It was out of control. We did not get power back for 40 hours. It was cold. We were grumpy that you did not want to be in the Valencia household. Mm -mm, nobody did. It, it, we were not happy campers. We were trapped here. Melina was sick. It just, it was not good. <laughs> so by the time the power came back on and I fixed everything, I was behind, like solidly behind. So I am spending this week playing catch up and then next week I should pretty much be back on track with my editing. This month you will not be seeing an Amazon haul. Why? Because I haven't spent any money on Amazon. What? No kidding. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya.